Sometimes in life, we know we have to take action on something. We know that it's time to step into something new. We have to shift into the next phase of our life, but we're scared. We have resistance. We have worries. We have concerns. The mind constructs stories. It constructs all these stories around why right now is not the time, why we need to wait a little bit longer. And it's going to stop us from moving forward if we don't fix those fears, if we don't let go of those fears. And I'm going to be sharing with you in this video how to move forward with that thing, even though you might be scared. And so these fears are going to come up all the time in our lives, but we have to move forward anyways and do that thing that we're scared to do. So I'm going to be sharing with you in this video exactly how to do that. So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. So the first thing I want you to understand is that fear is going to come up. It's going to come up no matter how much your mind thinks. In fact, thinking is going to create resistance and that's what makes it hard. No matter how much you think, no matter how much you prepare, which usually makes things worse, fears are going to come up. When you're stepping into something new, the old version of you will start screaming and it's going to bring up lots of fears, not literally screaming, but your mind will throw so many stories at you. You might literally start screaming too, who knows, but it's not going to be easy. Sometimes these fears are bound to come up. So just expect that when you're moving forward with something that you've never done before, when you're moving forward with this thing that you've never experienced before, of course, of course, fear is going to come up and that's totally normal. And so the first thing you can do to deal with these fears that are inevitably going to come up is recognize those fears for what they are. Recognize those fears for what they are. Because a lot of the times our fears are very logical. They're justified. You're allowed to have those fears. A lot of the times those fears make sense. They make sense. It's like when I was dropping out of school, I was worried about money. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a very valid concern to have. But the thing is, are those fears always true? Have they happened? Have they ever happened? A lot of the fears that I think about in my mind usually never happen. And if anything does happen, it's only when I'm thinking about it way too much. The overthinking is what creates that manifestation. And so when we begin to realize that we can recognize those fears, that's what actually stops that fear from manifesting in the first place. Don't attach or identify with the fear, recognize the fear for what it is. It's just fear. It's not who you really are. It's just stories playing in your mind. Recognize that a lot of your fears are just stories. That's all they are. It's stories that your mind is playing to protect you within reason. Of course, your mind wants to protect you. That's a very valid system that the human mind has is to protect us. But a lot of the times when it comes to stepping into your soul's path, into what it is that's truly meant for you, that protection mechanism is a limitation. Recognize the fears for what they are is the first thing you can do to move forward with something even though you might be scared. I don't know why I can't say the word forward properly. It's like hard for me to say that word. Recognize the fear for what it is. So you can move forward with that thing either way. It's so hard for me to say forward. I don't know why. The second thing you can do to move forward with something even though you're scared is to embrace the unknown fully. Just embrace it. Life can be so beautiful when you learn to embrace the unknown. The most beautiful moments of my life, the most enjoyable moments of my life have been when I embrace the unknown fully. I'm not talking 60% or 70% or even 80 or 90, 100% full acceptance in the unknown. That is beautiful. That's a beautiful place to be. That's when you're, you're going to do that thing, not out of fear, 
Not because you're so scared you're going to do it either way. It's just like, oh, I accept. I see my fears for what they are. I choose to let them go now and I embrace this journey. I remember when I dropped out of school, all these stories I had in my mind on how scary it was going to be to drop out of school, how the objections were going to happen and they did, but it wasn't scary as I thought. All these things, I finally signed those papers and guess what happened? I felt free. I didn't feel any fear in my body because I embraced the unknown fully. I felt free when I dropped out of school. All those stories playing in my mind around how family was going to freak out and they did, but the actual freaking out and the objections was not as scary and as hard as the conceptions that I had in my mind around what was going to happen. The concepts. The resistance comes from thinking. Okay, resistance comes from thinking. All resistance comes from thought. All difficulty or fe a feeling of this is really hard comes from thought. All anxiety comes from thought. All fears come from thought. Embrace the unknown. Let go of your thoughts. Let go of your need to think about everything. Let go of your need to logically analyze everything. Embrace the unknown fully and that is going to help you move forward with that thing either way. Okay, just to go after that thing either way. You're scared, it doesn't matter. I embrace the unknown fully, super valuable. Now, the third thing you can do is just have an understanding that fear-based decisions always lead you down the wrong path. I have a full confidence based on my experience of life and what I've seen other people do that a fear-based decision never leads you down the right path. Never. It's always going to lead you down the wrong path. Always. Because on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, you can make a decision based on fearlessness and love and a decision based on a groundedness in the present moment, not a decision based on all these concepts that our mind generates. You can make decisions on both sides. Now, which place you make that decision from is going to lead you down either the path that is meant for you and what your soul wants to see happen or the complete opposite. Literally the complete opposite. If you make a decision based, like imagine you're about to do something and then you don't because of fear, almost always that path of fear is extremely difficult. So you think it's scary to jump into uncertainty? I would say that in the long run, it's harder to stay in fear. Dropping out of school, creating my business, doing all these things, sure, resistance is going to come up. I would say that it would be much harder and there'd be more resistance to stay in fear because fear is dense. Fear is a dense frequency. It's a very, it's a very dense frequency to be in, to be in fear. To be in fear, to be stuck in thought is very dense, very, very dense. It's not easy to live based on fear. It's not easy to live in a fear-based mindset all the time. It's not easy to do that. You think it's easier to live in fear? I would say it's not. I would say it's harder to be in fear than to follow love. And yeah, following love is going to have consequences. It's not always going to be easy. It's going to be scary. But I would say that in the long run, there's going to be less resistance in your whole life if you follow love. Fear-based decisions always lead you down the wrong path. I'm not saying not to be logical. Don't be overly heart-based where you're putting your life at risk. But sometimes even us thinking we're putting our lives at risk is just fear. I thought, oh my gosh, how am I going to make money? How am I going to do this? How am I going to sustain myself if I drop out of school? And then I thought about it. Like I, I connected to the moment a little bit deeper. I stopped thinking and I was like, wait a second. Like I'm, I'm going to be just fine. Like I'm not going to go homeless. I'm going to have a place to stay. I'll be just fine. And there was a little bit of thought involved. I was thinking involved. Like, yeah, I'm going to have a place to stay. I'm going to be all good. Okay, I'm good to go. But it wasn't, oh my gosh, what if this happens? What if that happens? See, thinking is good, but overthinking leads you down the wrong path. I'm not saying thinking is bad. Any decision based on thought is not bad. 
But if it's overthinking with lots of fear, with a lot of anxieties, a lot of like you're in a your negative state of being, you're super, super scared. If you make a decision from that space, usually won't bring you down the right path. I'm not saying to be illogical. I'm saying don't be fearful. Fear-based decisions lead you down the wrong path almost always. So the key in my life has been to make decisions based on a groundedness in the present moment. Total fearlessness. As long as my survival needs are met, and I know that me thinking that I don't have my survival needs met is not fear. If I know that for sure, that like me thinking I'm going to go homeless is not just overthinking. If I have all that done, my survival needs are met, I always go fearless. That's how, I, how, that's how I live my life personally. I like to be fearless. I like to be bold. I like to live in uncertainty. That's how I live my life. I like to be in the uncertainty of life. It gives me a high, it gives me a thrill because you gotta realize, like I always say, we don't know how long we're gonna live. You don't know how much time you have left. Do you really want to spend all your time living in fear and not going after what you want to do? From my perspective, there's no such thing as failing. Failing, like to me, failure is living in fear. But I don't even think that's failure because everyone's on their own path. But if there was a definition of failure, I would say that it's living in fear. Going after your path and making mistakes and having things go wrong, that's not failure. That's success because following your path is success. To me, being in the process of not living in fear and being totally aligned with fearlessness as much as I can moment to moment, that's success. The money comes, the money goes. Some relationships come, some relationships go. But that is not success. Success to me is being in alignment with a state a fearlessness and realizing that fear-based decisions always lead down the wrong path. And on the contrary, fearless decisions will bring you on the path that is perfectly in alignment with your soul. Everything that your soul wants to manifest will be manifested from a space of fearlessness. A space of connection to who you really are. A space of connection to the present moment. That is what will be perfectly in alignment for your soul and manifestation that your mind can't even conceptualize right now. Manifestation that goes deeper than anything you can think of. Manifestation that comes from your soul, from your spirit. That is the life you're really meant to live, okay? So when you follow the decisions that are not based on fear, you will be in perfect alignment with everything that you truly want to see manifest. So that's all I have for this video. Once again, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. As always, have yourself a great day and I'll see you in the next video.